hello this is liquid ocelot and guys today i have a comprehensive guide and tutorial for you guys and it's regarding how to boost speed up your windows 10 performance 2020 full guide and guys uh, we will start with our procedure uh, so let's begin this tutorial guys first of all first step is i will type in temp temp and uh, just there will be a folder that pops out so I'll open the file location and uh, yes wait wait what I'll do is go for run and just type temp and uh, it's asking for administrative uh, permissions so I'll just uh, select all control A and press delete I'll delete all of these folders and now what I'll do is uh, go to the second step I'll go to run and uh, type in uh, percentage temp percentage and press OK now I have this other temporary files folder which is hidden in the app data so I'll just uh, select all and delete so there are some that cannot be deleted so I'll leave them alone now for the third part I'll go to run and write prefetch press OK they are asking for administrative permissions I'll uh, go to the Windows prefetch via this method select all the files and delete this one file I think it's in use so we have completed this step now I'll go to msconfig and uh, go to uh, boot boot is uh, services and uh, here I have a lot of services over here so make sure to hit uh, hide all Microsoft services I'll click this one and then I will have these services so uh, I will disable them all and the services that you need you can select them if uh, um, if you want to keep them and press apply and press OK um, I'll restart the PC later uh, now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go to msconfig once again and go to startup open task manager and uh, here I have uh, in that startup a lot of services so uh, I will try to um, uh, disable some of the services by going over the service and clicking right click and then disabling and I can also disable it uh, from via this so when your computer starts uh, these services will be disabled I'll disable all of them now this process is complete my friends now what I'll do is go to uh, disk cleanup I'll go to PC and right click it uh, open it sorry and go to my C drive um, and here I have this clean up uh, properties and I have this option disk clean up so I'll choose uh, downloaded program files temporary internet files thumbnails temporary files recycle uh, bin and I'll uh, press OK so all of these files will be deleted and very soon these files will be deleted yes now which step uh, I'll go to PC this PC right click go to properties and uh, go to advanced system settings and then go to performance settings and here as you can see the visual effects I have chosen custom and disabled all of these animations and stuff like that if you want to keep some of the animations you like you can keep them but it will decrease your performance 
so I have just disabled uh, unchecked everything and press OK so we are done with this part as well now uh, there uh, a technical part is coming up my friends uh, what you need to do is the command is in the description of the video you need to copy this command copy and go uh, op go in the search write powershell windows powershell yes um, you uh, powershell run it as administrator and a new uh, uh, yes it will come up windows system 32 so paste it paste this command and as you can see ultimate performance have been enabled so now we have ultimate performance now I'll go to power plan options edit power plan go to change advanced power settings here under hard disk turn off hard disk after on battery I have put it to zero and um, under uh, these uh, processor power management I'll go there so minimum pr processor state I have put it on zero on both battery and plugged in and on maximum uh, processor state I have put it on battery and on plugged in on 100% so we are done with the power plan as well my friends um, I'll just show you my power plan just in case so that you can see which power uh, options I have taken in the power plan you see I have ultimate performance so now we are done with the power plan part of the uh, tutorial now we go to uh, settings and we go to uh, uh, settings um, wait wait settings and over here we have to go to privacy so in uh, first of all general you have to switch all of these off uh, change privacy to settings let website provide local relevant content by accessing my languages list and everything off then to location I have set it to off in location in camera uh, I have uh, um, set everything to off camera off feedback hub off uh, windows edge off skype off everything off and i'll set this to off as well uh, my uh, microphone i have uh, I, um, I will do this camera off and uh, feedback hub off skype i leave it alone so recorder i leave it alone all of them are off um, to access your microphone so some of them have access like google chrome uh, let uh, never mind now um, I'll go to voice activation uh, voice activation I have put it off uh, the voice activation notifications um, I have put it off uh, account info I have uh, content allow apps to access your content info I have put it off calendar I have put it off phone calls I have put it off call history I have put it off uh, email I have put it off uh, tasks uh, I have put it off messaging I have put it off um, radios I have put it off and um, other devices um, I, I will keep this one because I use my cell phone uh, documentary uh, documents library I have put it off pictures I have uh, uh, you can change the settings accordingly uh, I will keep this one on and um, 3d viewer in the view videos off camera off and um, Xbox Xbox off and file system uh, app installer I have chosen this apps installer as on so these were the settings I have done in front of you guys now I will go to uh, gaming under settings I'll go to gaming 
and put it off record off under game bar uh, under captures I have put the record off game mode I have uh, put it on um, you can put this uh, yes I have uh, I have I will put it off as well this one off as well and now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to do the defragmentation defra step so I'll go to the defragmentation but remember if you have a solid state drive you do uh, and Windows is installed on it you don't need to defragment it but uh, if you have a, a metal drive you can you can defragment it but make sure to keep this setting on um, we have this setting on and they will uh, automatically check and defrag these hard drives for you now uh, we have completed this part now a very important part is for registry editor so I'll go to reg edit and I have uh, put all the uh, instructions in the uh, description of the video so guys you don't have to worry because it took me a lot of time to figure this out um, what we need to do is first we need to go to this address h uh, h current user under computer then control panel then uh, mouse and then uh, mouse hover time mouse hover time uh, and put the value to 10 so it is perfectly fine now we have to uh, go to uh, this um, um, control panel desktop desktop yes control panel desktop and then go to, uh, to um, menu show delay menu show delay we'll click it and put the value to 10 as well now we have to do some other steps as well my friend so uh, please bear with me I have uh, put the um, these addresses in the uh, description of the video so you can easily access it I'll go to HD local machine and uh, go to software software then Microsoft then Microsoft uh, then Windows NT Windows NT and uh, then current version current version then uh, multimedia multimedia and then system profile so I'll go to system responsiveness over here and put the hex hexadecimal value to zero and um, then what I'll go to uh, then what I'll do is go to uh, multi multimedia system profile system profile I'll go to uh, system profile and uh, tasks and then games and then uh, uh, inside games I have to find uh, this uh, priority and put the hexadecimal in the priority to um, 6 so I'll go and fix this one for you guys because you are uh, going to uh, need it in the description of the video now guys the final step of the tutorial is here um, once you have done all of these steps already your system would have been boosted for a very uh, powerfully and uh, once you have restarted you would have taken seen all the effects that has happened but there is one last additional step what you need to do is go to this link and download uh, this tool for downloading Windows 10 uh, Windows 10 so I have uh, already downloaded it media creation tool and I'll open it so I'll cancel this and uh, once this creation tool comes you will make sure that you select all the applications and keep all the applications and it will download and install a fresh copy of Windows 10 on top of your system so this will remove all the malware and uh, protect your system my friends um, also additionally uh, one more steps my friends I will show you one more step um, I'll go to 
nvidia control settings because i'm using this one nvidia control panel so i have already done the system just uh, accept and move forward and uh, now i will show you guys configure adjust image settings with preview now you need to what you need to do is uh, you need to focus on this use my preference uh, emphasizing quality yes you have to choose the quality so i have already chosen it and i'll apply so this will boost your system uh, the, your graphics and um, all this is all you need to do and uh, once you have done it you have to make sure that uh, you have this installed if you are using nvidia geforce experience so you have to make sure to update to the latest drivers and whichever game you play for example i'm playing battlefront a uh, long time i haven't played it you can change all the settings and optimize it optimize the game accordingly so guys i hope you liked and enjoyed this uh, extensive guide uh, i think th there isn't a bigger guide on youtube present on this topic how to boost speed up your windows 10 performance uh, 2020 full guide please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think guys um, i'll be signing off take care my friends and uh, uh, please also one more request share this video like this video subscribe to this channel because of this video if you really liked it all the support is needed i'll be signing off take care